Charlie's Jeanette here from Enthusiastic Gardener. Welcome back and I want to show you this beautiful obelisk. And isn't that lovely? I have a coil lining which is going to go inside. So I could plant just through the holes, it would be quite easy to do, but it's just getting the soil in. So I'm just going to take it apart because that is what it's designed for. And voila! So this coir basket I've got is not 100% perfect for this, I have to say, but it will do. Yes, so this is my birthday present from Richard, which is lovely. And it was my birthday yesterday, and I was 32 plus 32 minus 10 plus 4. I think and oh yes I have sweet peas beautiful little sweet peas and they are going to grow up hopefully and then in the gaps we have some of these just to give it a bit of interest while the sweet peas have got no interest so these little sweet peas are a mixture all different colors and you see they need to go in there Sweet peas don't actually like their roots mucked about with too much. They will twine, but they need a little bit of a start, a little bit of direction. So we all need a little bit of direction. So I put them in. And I'm going to pinch out the tips of these sweet peas because at the moment they're kind of just one leggy stem but if I pinch out the tips it will create side shoots you see here for example if I take off the top that's going to make side shoots from there and there hope you can see that I'm going to do that on every single one I'm sure you know, but with sweet peas, you have to pick them all the time. And the more you pick, the more they will produce. I hope you can see this. Yes, you have to keep picking them all the time, all through the summer. And you will be rewarded with constant flowers. And you can take them indoors, you can put them in pots, you can give them to your friends, you can put them in your desks at work and your friends desks at work and they will smell beautiful and you will be the most popular person in the office if you're not already there we go but we're going to put these in to trail along four of the sides. No, I think I might just put two in actually. I didn't think it through properly because I thought that there would be four equal gaps, but now I realise that the sweet peas have had to come closer. I'm wondering, perhaps just have two. And they're quite big as well, you can see. Oh, very nice. Yes. Which has had an online delivery. There we are. Beautiful Lottie. And we do the same this side. Squish it together. That's the kind of tradeous side. Try not to disturb my sweet peas. There's my sweet pea. Now I'm going to put the top back on and tie up my sweet peas. Hopefully. 
wait for me without killing them in the process. Oops, squashing them all. And these are just little ring nuts. Yes, it wasn't a wild birthday party or anything yesterday. Because we're still doing all the social distancing. But that's okay. Everyone's having a weird birthday this year. That's for sure. You would think this would be easy. Yes, we have contact. So there we are, we've planted the sweet peas, we've tied them in, we've pinched them out, we've added fertilizer, giving it a good water. This isn't where it's going to live, but today it is so hot. So um, I've just put it in the shade because it's had all had a bit of a shock. And hopefully the sweet peas will grow up. I hope you like it, I love it. I'm Jeanette, I am the Enthusiastic Gardener. Thanks so much for joining me again. Hope you're having a lovely time in your gardens. Hope to see you very, very soon. Take care now, bye.